Hello there and welcome back to Satisfactory Years. Back on good old Satisfactory, ready for another day. Back on a modded playthrough. And if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video along with the link to Satisfactory Mod Manager. So you can download it and install mods for yourself. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, before we get started, uh, before I forget, of course, is uh, Happy Spooktober, everyone. Um, the uh, continuing with the spooky games has been, it's been doing really well, so uh, I've been enjoying it. Definitely been enjoying being spooked, playing uh, spooky games with friends and, and stuff like that. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a blast. So yeah, if you have not checked it out yet, uh, please do so. Of the um, the spooky games that we have been playing this month and we will continue to play spooky games throughout the month as well so you know don't worry it's not going away uh not until the um not until the month of spooktober is over of course and then we'll just go back to regular scheduled programming <laughs> whatever that might be uh but yes uh so a few things have changed um uh, more than a few things i should say um Let's just say I've been working on this. I've been working on this save all before, in between episodes, all the day that video was recorded, all the way up until today, um, with a, a few hours of break for other games, <laughs> of course, because we got to record, you know, other games as well. But I have built quite a lot here. It is, um, it is insane. So here we go. <laughs> I have got my cooling tower army ready. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, this has taken me a long, long time to do. So, uh, you know, hopefully it looks good. I, they're not complete yet, obviously, but they are they are there. The structures are there. They're ready to go. Um, so we're going to do a couple different things today. But uh, first of all, look... Look at this. Uh, the, don't worry about the radiation level. Nothing's hooked up. That's just the radiation. That's just a uranium train over there. Um, but yeah, this has been... I wouldn't say a nightmare to build, but it's definitely been exhausting and extremely difficult to build. Um, definitely extremely difficult to build. Yeah, you can go in here. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for the bottom of the towers, obviously. If you've ever seen cooling towers, you look them up. Look up nuclear cooling towers on Google. Uh, you'll find the images. They have these bottom kind of um, beams, uh, which I've got. I'm going to show you how I did these. Now, you already know how I built the cooling tower itself. Um, and if you weren't here, that was with using the, um, the micromanage mod. Um, so basically... Uh, I'll just do a quick little demonstration here. Okay, so we had this to start out with. And then what I did was I selected it with the micromanage mod. We changed this over to large and we hold shift and we can, we just want to pull it towards us because that's the way we're looking at it. So shift K and it leans it up one. And then you put another one and then, and then click, you know, select it again, shift K. Um, and then another one, and then shift K, and then another one. Don't worry about how I'm flying behind me. <laughs> I've got, uh, I've got some power nodes here. Like that, right there. Uh, and then another one. Like that. And then one more? Whoops, forgot that happens. Yeah, never select it when it's being placed. Otherwise it disappears. Mm, yep, there we go. Okay. So now we'll move away from this. We'll drop a little bit, catch power. Yeah, you can see the overall shape. Um, just using these eight meter walls. You could probably do this in the actual game, but I honestly, I wouldn't know how you would do it to be honest yeah and then once the once they're built then I put the beams underneath it um, the beams are a little bit more tricky and they take a little bit more time but overall building these beams only takes about 20 30 minutes uh, completely while the rest of the cooling tower the 
each one of these towers took me about, um, I think it was a little over an hour each, something like that. Yeah, it was it was a long time. I've been I've been working on this for a long, long time. Of course, I built all the cooling towers and then I placed the nuclear power plants inside them. Um, hopefully, we'll get some smoke out the top of these things uh, and whatnot. And it looks like it's getting ready to rain, which is not fun. Um, so let's get rid of this real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's getting ready to rain. Look at all the clouds and stuff. It's the, they did the clouds really well in this. Um, I hope they don't remove the way the clouds are. They're so good. <laughs> the clouds are just so good. And they're actually not all that much um, taking up on uh, uh, on resources either. They're actually not bad. Still pretty cool looking clouds. Anyway. So yeah, then I'm... Uh, so I'm going to show you how I did this that way. So you, now you know how I built the cooling tower. Obviously we have a circle in here. Um, so you start with the middle, you build a circle, um, which we use mods to build. So, uh, And then you just place these around the outside of that circle. And then just go from there. Just take your walls and put them on the outside of your circle here. Yeah, like that. And then you obviously use the micromanage to place it, or to, to move it. Stuff like that. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, my army is ready. Um, and I used the, uh, I, I removed, obviously I had to remove the, uh, the centerpiece um, in order to place the power, or in order to place the heat, place this. So I had to put these around the outside. So you can sit over here and... Uh, And these are play. I'm not going to remove it, but uh, yeah, I just took this and I just I went to the center of it where I was aiming at the center, and then I just kind of wiggled around until I found the exact spot where it goes and it fits. It fits exactly in there. It's actually pretty nice. Otherwise, it's, otherwise it's ho it hovers above the the uh, that floor there. So I've got that all leveled. I need to remove all these. These aren't staying. The uh, the, the foundations and this one got deleted by the way as well so once I built uh, all of these I was like this is the only tower that screwed up so I think what I, I think what happened was I missed a couple of walls I think that's what happened or I misplaced a couple of walls slightly to where they weren't correct and uh, ended up messing it up uh, so these were all perfect um, because when I start the build obviously I when I start the first layer and I get it all spaced, or not spaced, but I get it all lean the way I need it to be. Um, then I check it and make sure it's exact all the way around by using the uh, dots. Uh, I can't go back in these now. But we'll get in the bottom, so the bottom of them of them later. Uh, but yeah, as you can see now, when we look at these walls before, there was a couple of these like little bits of graphic missing on these walls because they were covered up by a wall that wasn't quite where it needed to be and stuff. So I just completely and utterly redid all that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's all done um, because I wanted to focus this. I wanted to focus most of this episode on getting the nuclear fuel rods hooked up and getting the water hooked up. The water is going to be the first, I think, the first thing to be hooked up. Uh, probably. I'm not really sure to be honest. But what I do know is the uh, the water lines, those are going to be used uh, to um, those are going to be used probably to transport stuff back. I actually I have another idea as well because I need um, because if, if you've ever played this game uh, when you use nuclear fuel rods as a power source when you use power you get uh, nuclear waste. So we're going to have to deal with that as well. I might have an idea. Okay. Yeah, and like I said before as well, I, I have spent um, every single moment I possibly could on this build <laughs> because I wanted to get them done. I have been working frivolously um, at 
Uh, there we go. <laughs> that did give me a drink. Yeah. Plus, I've also been working on uh, spook videos and stuff like that, and I cannot believe... Like, I will never put in this much effort again uh, outside of... <laughs> Gosh, dude, I about killed myself. Uh, not in that way. I, I about... There, there's, there's a few times where I actually had to quit because I was getting like a headache. And, yeah. So it's just like, yeah, this is the only time I'm gonna do that. <laughs> this one, like I said, these ones take a lot less to build, and I'll, I can build these over time. No big deal. I don't have to build them all at once. I think my voice box is going. <laughs> it's being crazy. Anyway. See, I haven't perfected this method yet, but I will show you um, how I did this right here. I think what I'm going to do is also I'm going to remove these. Because I think what I want to do is I want to check my architecture. I want to put these beams on the bottom, like this. Like that, yeah. yeah and then I'm going to remove these. These are just for uh, spacing. That's all they're for. So, I'm just going to go around and remove these real quick. And like I said, I haven't perfected this method, but I've def I've come close. <laughs> it's, it's not quite perfect, but it is pretty damn close to it. You know, it's also funny, too. If you look at these, uh, look at this, uh, this triangle right here. When I go to the right, it looks like a right-handed triangle. When I go to the left, it's a left-handed triangle. <laughs> It, it either either add that out or I'm seeing things. It's, man, freaking going cross-eyed playing this game, but I love Satisfactory. Man. You know, I was thinking about it too. I was just like, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna top this in season four. If I, uh, you know, when we go to see it, do season four, like what? What the heck? <laughs> I can't top this. Man, this is the best I can, this is like the best I can build. I guess we just have to try other things. Well, of course we are going to try other things in, uh, or in uh, Season 4. We're going to be building uh, modular stuff. So we're going to have one factory that produces something, right? And all the resources are going to be brought to it to produce that, that one thing. So let's say it's like... Um, uh, let's say it's like uh, computers, right? The computer is going to be produced on site, obviously, because it's a computer factory. But everything else comes from ever everywhere else, and it's all going to be done by train uh, and drone. And that's my plan, anyway. Yeah, that one's not. Like I said, it's not perfect. That one's not quite the way it needs to be. I don't know what happened there. But they look fine, though. This one... Maybe the beam connectors aren't sitting on there correctly. No, it's doing the third, too. There must be a very specific point that's... that's allowing that, not allowing that. Like, it's so often. I mean, it, like I said, it's not a, it's not a perfect method. There it is again. It's going to be interesting doing these next two other ones. Hopefully I don't have too much trouble with that, because they are going to, like, they are basically going to touch. It's going to be interesting. It's only in very specific spots that it, that it, it's not the same. 
I'm wondering if that's because... Um, I don't know, the circle wasn't exact? And it's pretty damn exact. I mean, it's... We're talking less than... We're, we're talking like... Like a, a hundredth of a, of a meter here. I don't know what that'd be. Uh, sorry, I'm American. I, I use... Inches. Feet. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah, we're talking like... I don't know. Like an inch, less than an inch of uh, difference. It's very, very close. And honestly, at this point, I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, doesn't doesn't that look good? Yeah, I think that could be. I think that could be okay. I don't want to run a beam around the bottom of it because their cooling towers aren't like that. They don't have the beam around the bottom side. Uh, technically they don't have a beam around the top side, but I'm afraid to remove it. <laughs> I am afraid to remove that. I think it looks okay. Um, yeah, once all the cooling towers are this way, then it'll look, it'll, ah, geez, it'll look better. Okay, so, let me show you how to do this real quick, and then we'll just do a quick little build. So I'm just going to remove that wall. Um, then I'm gonna put it back. So the walls have to be here. In order for you to do this. All the walls. Oh! <laughs> I've gotten wet. Wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't fall on the water at some point. <laughs> so shift, I, because it's on the inside. And as you can see, the, the dots all match up all the way around now. So. It's a perfect tower. <laughs> as perfect as, as I can get it, anyway. Okay. Right. So the first thing you want to do is take your beam. Once you've got your cooling tower built, anyway. So, take your beam. And you're going to want to do the top side. It doesn't matter which one you do. Uh, you can do the top side the bottom side. But as you can see, there's two different snap points here. There is a... Uh, there's a snap point on the bottom that's white, and there's a snap point on the top that's yellow. So what we want is we want the snap point on the on the top that's yellow. Uh, but and then there's two snap points in the corner. You see where the dots are? Those are the edges of the walls where the two walls meet. So you're gonna have to be very very careful. It, it does take it does take a little bit of time uh, to place these, but. So we want this wall right here. So a little bit left of those dots, just below the uh, uh, overlapping other clearance make, clipping maker, no, that thing. Just below that, there's uh, there's there's four dots, and they're kind of almost in a triangle shape. Um, they're part of the the thing. So I, I would build this out of concrete walls, just so you can line stuff up, and then and then if you want to change it to a different wall type. Uh, a different wall material that you can do it that way, but you and you want to leave the build mode on default. So, and you're going to go to four meters. Now it's not going to be that way all the way around. Um, as you can see, when I place this here, when I place this here, it's two different ones. So yeah, we want to do that. Then go to the next one. Okay. Right there. And you're going to notice that some of them, like most of them, are going to be 3.999966. <laughs> and some of them are going to be 4.000004. And some of them are going to be exactly 4 meters. The exact 4 meters ones are the 4 points of the foundation that is central to our tower here. So that's when you're going to notice that. Yeah, as you can see, what I do is I go past it. Let it build and then I place it back. I mean, you don't have to do that. You let it build and then place it. But yeah, try and do. It. Don't connect to it. Just go right next to it. Yeah, and you'll notice that that's the exact number. So yeah, and you just do this all the way around. As you can see, that's the exact four meter. And if we look down, that is this wall right here. So this one's going to be exactly four, and that one's going to be exactly four. 
so then we just go all the way around just just doing this okay and there we are all the way around just like that <laughs> yep. okay so now that you got that now we're going to take this beam we're gonna go land over here um, Actually, we, we could probably fly it. It's fine, too. Just whatever you like. Um, so he's, now we're going to use those dots to our advantage to line stuff up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on the wall right next to the floor. And you're going to notice it goes yellow again. We're going to take that. And we're going to, again, leave it on default. And we're going to go just like this. Just like just like you were just doing. The 3.99 or 4.00004 or exactly 4 meters just like that. You're not going to go all the way over to where they clip into each other. You're going to leave just that little bit of gap. So it's just dots to dots, like I said. So there's the dots. And then you're just going to just like this. As you can see, it's just it's just there. Um, as well. So you're just going to do this one all the way around as well. Okay, and there we go. Now that's all the way around. Just like that, with those little gaps in it. So now this is the part where I said it wasn't perfected, because I've tried a few different ways to do this, and it's just, it just is what it is. So I'm going to try the removal of the wall method. Um, whoops. I probably want to start, start over here. Remove some walls. So yeah, now that I've removed those walls, it'd be a pain in the butt to put them back, but I think, I think this method still works this way. So, okay, so now what you want to do is you want to do the angles, obviously. So if, uh, you see how I'm going to connect it here, um, just like this, I'm aiming at the actual beam, not at the concrete, not the concrete here, not this concrete, this concrete, I'm aiming exactly, so if I was placed as is connected to the beam, not the concrete itself. Um, so yeah, you'll either get this, or if you're on this side, you'll get it to where the whole beam turns yellow, because it displays when it's in its hologram mode, it displays on four meter length, and that's a that's a four meter length beam there. So, so either you're gonna get this, or you're gonna get this, but you're not gonna get this, or this, or this, or any of this. You know, you're not gonna get it standing up gonna get it exactly this way so now we're gonna uh, actually I, I am low on steel beam so I'm gonna have to uh, go get some more but it's okay we'll do that in a minute so yeah so I'm connected to the beam and then what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, before you even start you're gonna press R twice which is gonna change the build mode to free mode freeform mode so freeform mode is not exactly freeform but it's pretty darn close it allows you to Place it at whatever angles you want, as you can see here. Um, generally, you want walls to kind of guide you with freeform, um, like these here. That's why I said the method's not perfect. It, it hasn't perfected it yet. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing there's a difference here. So yeah, you want to connect... Uh, you can connect to the beam or to the wall. I'm not really sure... I'm going to connect to the beam itself, so I'm kind of, so I'm not connecting to that right there where those walls are sticking out. I'm going to pull my cursor up, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rotate it before you place it. Rotate it with your mouse wheel. By the way, there we go. So now it's going to put that angle in, and I bet you that's where I've gotten in trouble with the other side. Um, so yeah, and then this one's the same. Rotate it. And then if you did it correctly, you're going to get this. See how these kind of seamlessly blend in together? Oh, not seamlessly, but they blend in together. Anyway. So, yep. And then I'm going to delete the next wall. So, yeah, it looks like without the walls, it's probably better. Um, because um, you have more of, a, more of a snapping point on the actual beam itself. So we're connecting to where the two beams come to, or where the uh, center of the beam is, sorry. So yeah, we're connecting to the beam rather than to the walls up here. Um, so yeah, that looks like the best method. Um, now these cost six wall or six six walls, six beams a piece. Do I have any more beams? 
I do not, so I'm going to have to go get some more beams. I'm low on concrete anyway, so uh, let's go do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop in our little construction train here. Make sure there's nothing behind us. And by the way, the only reason that that um, not even full stack of concrete sitting in there is so that I have a car. Just for fun. Ah! Don't tell me you're going this way. No! You were going this way. Every time I drive my construction train, I always cause a freaking accident. <laughs> yeah, just can't get away from it. Oh, look at those cooling towers, though. Oh, I didn't show you guys that. We'll, we'll show you in a second. So let me get my get these trains sorted. At least it's as easy as just re-railing one. I still remember how the devs said that they were going to screw us, us players, by making us empty. You'd have to empty the containers of the train. Oh, the sparks are the break. Oh. Yeah, the brakes are stuck on. <laughs> you can see the sparks coming. Yeah, that's a, it's graphical glitch. It doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, they said they were going to make you empty out each car before you could re-rail it back onto the track. Like you could still press E on it, but it had to it had to be empty. So you'd have to empty it. And then they said, "No, nah, that's too much of a hassle. Players are going to hate us for that." <laughs> I can't. Those weren't the exact words, but. Yeah, they did say that's too much of a hassle. They didn't want the player going through that or something like that. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> you know, thank you for not doing that. Thank you for not making us spend, waste countless hours if, if we had a train crash. Well, there's our lines. There, I, uh, it's a sulfur train. Back into no FPS land. This other train. Go, 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 go. Nope. Stop. Oh. Okay, that train is going that way. Good. I thought it was the coal train for this side. There's the coal train for this side. Hey, you're missing a car in there, buddy. Back into the city we go. <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. It, it was almost clear as well. It was almost cleared. This train. Uh, can I get in here, please? Here we go. Uh, I just I was holding backwards and brakes at the same time, which if you didn't know makes you slow down faster. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that did not uh, that did not stop me. I was. I was still just going. <laughs> it's like a it's like a semi truck. Now let's get out of the way here. What's this coal train? Oh that's an iron train. Where are you going? Are you going? You're an iron you're just an iron train. Oh you're going down. Yeah, you're going down below. It's just faster that way. Right. Oops. I'm supposed to stop there. That's fine. Whatever. Anyway. Let's go get some more concrete and go get like a like ten stacks of beams. That's what it's gonna take. Sorry about the low FPS mode. It's uh, there's nothing I can do about it. There, other than get a better CPU is the only thing I can do, which obviously I can't do. Which I, even then it probably wouldn't be. You probably wouldn't be looking at much better. <laughs> It's just, it, it's just the, the calculations of the CPU is just, is what's causing this to be such a hassle. Okay, uh, I 
think the concrete. Nope. Uh, it was one. Sorry, I'm just. I'm also just lazy. I don't want to. I don't want to try and find. So it goes into this, which goes into this, which goes into this. Okay. I don't want to go inside. By the way. And a lot of this stuff is still under construction. I haven't been over here in a long time. But the FPS is so low. <laughs> yeah. That I don't know if I want to be over here again. <laughs> Freaking crazy city. Just so lagtastic. I'm hoping Update 8 does something about that. Hopefully it makes it better. I don't know if it will. Never know. Just oof. There you go. Oof. Let's ride the concrete train, baby. We're going fast. Gotta go fast. That I've been <laughs> I've been working my tushy off all week, and it's actually starting to make a little bit of an impact. I think this weekend I might give myself a, a give myself a Saturday just to not not you know make any videos. <laughs> I might have to because uh, man, it's actually starting to affect me a little bit. Let's take myself a break. It's just all this extra recording, which I, I'm more than happy to do. I'm, I'm enjoying it immensely. I said I enjoy making content, and I will never play. I will never play a game. Um, I will never make a video on a game that I don't want to play. <laughs> you can't make me. It's like if I don't want to play the game, I don't want to play the game. Like if I decide to, they, I say screw it, I don't want to play Satisfactory anymore tomorrow. And just I'm never gonna play it again. And that's that's how it is. I don't care what you say. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, seriously though, I just if I didn't enjoy this, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing it. I'd find something else. I'm not gonna force myself to do something like that. This is not like, you know, doing housework and yard work where you kind of just got to force yourself to do the work. You know, this kind of thing, you actually got to enjoy doing it or you're going to be a one miserable person trying it, trying to do it. Uh, so what are we doing? What are we looking at? Oh, steel beams. That's right. We need to take a massive load of steel beams. And that sounded... Wrong. Here's our steel beams, by the way. Oh, there they are. So this one, which means it goes to this, which means it goes up here. Up oh, there you are. Okay, we'll just take the entire lot. <laughs> Give me all of your steel beams, please. Your best steel. You, just all of them. Your best. Uh, also, we needed plates, didn't we? Yeah, we're low on plates. So, let's see. One, two, two, two stacks of rods and two stacks of plates. Let's see. Um, two stacks of rods. Right there. I just look through the windows. This It's not the only reason I put windows on here, but... The windows look good. It's just I can also just take down. So it's two stacks of rods. Oops. So then we got three stacks of that, and then two stacks of of iron planes. That's kind of what we need here. So iron plates are. Let's see. Look, 
Oh, there you are. There. It's right there, you idiot. <laughs> Wait. Just is right here. Oh, there, there you are. You gotta remember to keep those those two plates as well. It's one, two, yeah. It's gonna turn on a lot of machines, but I think. I wonder how 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 good we are. I've been building a while, and those are still building. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I cannot believe those um those tank assemb the assembly director systems are still building as well. I know we got them completed up there in the top right, but yeah, they're still they're still building. And we still have yet to get all the milestones done. I'm, I'm waiting to do all the milestones because I have, um, I have some other work I want to get done before I go too far into that kind of stuff. Oh, um, one second, because I don't want to carry it around. What? Let's put this one plate in there. <laughs> one iron plate will sink. I'm lazy. I don't want to go back. All right, let's get ourselves out of no FPS land. <laughs> yep, we got a lot of work to do still. We'll just use um, the bauxite train station as a turnaround spot. Stop there. This freaking beautiful train station. I wish I'd done more with it, but man, you just. When you're almost 900 hours into a save, you tend to just build the outer shell and call it a day. <laughs> I mean, that's what I've been doing the entire time, but I'm doing it even more so anymore. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Slow her down. Slow her down, cowboy. Don't want to run into that other train. Come on, get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Don't make me push. Get your, get your heavy butt up that hill. slot in behind this other train here. Oh, here comes the uranium train, or one of them anyway. Look at the towers from here. Look at the towers, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're beautiful. They're, they're they're just what I imagine they would be. Not really, but close. <laughs> they're pretty good. They're very big towers. And I'm very um, I'm very happy with this uh, with this build here. Still wish you would. Uh, the train would go into crash mode when you 
flew off the end of the track. Okay then. So yeah, let me get rid of all these. So we no longer need them. There we go. So, all I gotta do is just, uh, now that we have our beams, I just gotta build this. Yep. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. And that will be all of that for all them angles. <laughs> it does take a while to do, but it can be done. Yep, so then we remove these. I did have to go over here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put them back, but I did have to go over here, or over here. Um, is it not? Oh, it's that one. I uh, skipped that. This one's the next one. <laughs> yeah, so we just go in and remove all the beams down below. Very, very nice. Just every single one of these. <laughs> There's so many. You need them all for each uh, separation. Now you could probably do like corner to corner beam uh, and get these to uh, these to overlap at the bottom, but I didn't I didn't really want that. I wanted um, them to you know obviously come together at the top, but at the bottom, I wanted them to kind of just touch so that we could put uh, the two beam connectors on it. Because the, the top obviously gets covered by the the thing that goes all the way around, and the bottom one's going to be these. So let's see how well I did on this one. This one I was a little more careful with, and obviously this is my second one, so I, you know. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was just like, what the heck? Why is it doing that? Now, if this one is perfect all the way around, I'm going to have to rebuild the other one. I don't want to do that. Yeah, this does take about uh, 30 minutes, maybe, in total to do. Looks like I did get it perfect. So. <laughs> okay, now if we want to do these, what you can do is you can come to the inside. Do it like this. Yeah, it just it just on this side it just sticks up ever so slightly above the concrete. Yeah, and then obviously the same on this side. Yeah, that's working out good. I didn't know how this was gonna work out when they met like this. I was just ho I was just hoping and praying that it would work out well. <laughs> but it does seem to work out pretty well. Yeah, this one I was a little more careful with. It took a little more time and. And there we go. Now they're all perfect all the way around. It's like the uh, first cooling tower. That that was the first uh, bottom bit of the cooling tower that I built. Uh, and now i got to redo it. <laughs> because this one now matches. Or this one is now perfect. <laughs> so now i got to rebuild it. Uh, I know what I did wrong. And I know how to fix it. So It's just like the, first, it's just like the cooling tower we built. Uh, this one here. When we first built it. It was just like there was there were some errors in building there. And now, there's, uh, now that uh, we have corrected those errors on the second build, now we can redo that first one, as well as build all the others. So, basically I have nine more to build oh, on the bottom side of this. Oh, amount of concrete. That takes a, that, that, that takes a toll on the concrete number, doesn't it? Well, I, I guess I am not carrying very much concrete either. So, but it's like two a piece, and there's a lot of them. But yeah, seems to uh, seems to have done well. Very, very nice. I'm very happy with this build. Uh, given my time frame, it doesn't look like we're gonna get to do much else. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I didn't show you guys this, but yeah, this is what I ended up doing with the um, with the covering up of the turbine. That's where the turbine, the actual power plant's turbine is, right here. So 
the turbine that takes the hot water out of the or takes the heated the superheated water out of the nuclear reactor and then into a cooling system stuff like that okay so just by looking at diagrams and you know a few explanations I've seen in the past on nuclear reactors uh, the way a nuclear reactor works kind of uh, this is just a I'm, I'm not a nuclear physicist or anything I don't know you know, I don't know all the ins and outs of a, of a nuclear reactor or anything, but just judging based on a few diagrams I've seen, because I've always was always curious kind of how they worked and stuff like that, is uh, the for the water system anyway, the um, the nuclear reactor generates a lot of heat, and it's surrounded by it's surrounded by coolant, and you know, it depends on what what they use and stuff like that. Most of them, I think, use just use water uh, to cool it. Um, and then that, that, that water gets heated to a boiling point because of the nuclear reactor is so hot. Um, and it heats up and it boils the water and it turns it into steam. And then that steam gets pulled into the system, into the, the cooling system, via a turbine or you know anything like that. I, I, even water itself. And then basically it goes through a set of pipes and then goes to your uh, cooling tower... Uh, which then gets basically that's that's what you see coming out of the as far as I know that I could be completely wrong about this but I, I'm guessing that that's what you see coming out of those cooling towers because cooling towers are just concrete with water at the bottom oh <laughs> let me put away some stuff um, there there's no actual that like all that smoke you see coming out of the out of a nuclear reactor's cooling tower is all just as far as I know it's just water vapor um, I think, anyway, like I said, could be wrong, and I'm sure somebody will correct me if I am. You're like, no, that's incorrect. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I'd say. Oh, okay. Um, there. Hopefully that's enough. Um, but yeah, so it goes to the, the water, the, the superheated steam goes, goes through a system to cool it back down, and then back into the system. Basically circulates the water, essentially. And obviously, a lot of water is is kind of boiled away and wasted um, when the nuclear reactor is running. So uh, the way the cooling towers are is um, the cooling towers, um, the water that's in the bottom of cooling towers is from a natural river or a lake, or it's pumped in from a river or a lake. Maybe it's pumped in from the ocean. I'd imagine it had to be clean, though, if it was from the ocean. I don't know if they'd want salt water. Um, that's yeah, okay, though. Whatever. It's whatever. And I don't know how I'm going to do these yet. Uh, the bottom side of these. I kind of want to build something underneath these to kind of cover up the nuclear reactor. But if we remove all this, this is the bottom of the reactor. <laughs> the nuclear power plant. Um, just in the top here. I guess it just depends on the system and and you know what system and types because there there I think they said there's a few different types of cooling systems and whatnot, but usually with the nuclear reactor yeah there's water pumps and stuff like that to pump the water in and they pump the water in from the cooling towers back here yeah into the system to then continue cooling it's basically just a big circulation um, of the water heating and cooling and heating and cooling and of course yeah the water does get lost sometimes it you know a lot of the times it, it goes into the atmosphere the the superheated water <laughs> the atmosphere yeah, goes into the into the sky and then that's that so that's how I understand it I mean obviously I'm not gonna have everything correct <laughs> just by I, I've never, I didn't go to school for that or anything. I went to school for auto mechanics for Pete's sake. For Pete's sake. <laughs> I didn't go into no school for no nuclear action. Nuclear actors. But I've always been fascinated by them. Because it's just like, it's such a... It's like, how do you even... How would they have figured this, this kind of stuff out? You know, all those years ago. With the technology now, you could kind of understand where some of the newer technology comes from because it's just like oh yeah we got all this knowledge and all this technology and then 
but you know back in the day when they didn't have all that stuff or you know if it was electronics it was analog <laughs> you know, very very primitive electronics type stuff it's like how do you figure out a freaking nuclear reaction within a uh, within a system it's like that's just crazy <laughs> how those people smart enough to do that uh. yeah and the Lord said you are going to invent a nuclear actor so let me make you uh, let me make you a crazy scientist genius <laughs> uh, and uh, give you all the tools all the knowledge um, all the knowledge to uh, figure this thing out <laughs> so you can continue to help forward humanity <laughs> who knows who knows how that stuff works But yeah, I just basically, though, explained the layman's version of a nuclear reactor. <laughs> uh, nuclear reactor takes cold water, and when it goes to the reactor, it heats up and then goes into the tower and then cools down and then back into the system and then heats up again. There you go. <laughs> There's my Neander Neanderthal version yeah still cold though still really nice the only problem about nuclear reactors the major major issue about nuclear reactors is if 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 things aren't maintained if things aren't exactly right it's almost like an engine think it, except for way more catastrophic of course <laughs> <laughs> but think of, think of an engine in your car, right? Just a normal gasoline engine. Well, that's what most people's going to have. Of course, people are starting to get more and more uh, electronic uh, engines and stuff, or electronic vehicles, electric cars and stuff. So, yeah. But uh, you know, just your average gasoline engine. That gasoline engine runs so perfectly in a system. It, it runs so perfectly that if anything steps. Yeah, uh, too far out of line, and it's very minuscule as well. If something even slightly goes wrong, in a lot of cases, the engine goes from running to kaboom. I mean, it's not a huge, massive explosion like you see in the movies. Uh, most engines, when they explode, it's it's not it's not that spectacular. It, that would have to be like a if you want spectacular movie explosion engine. If you want that to to transpire, you have to. That's like a uh, like a fueling thing. The engine would have to be running so rich and throwing fuel, basically leaking fuel everywhere, uh, that it that when it did explode finally, that it exploded into a giant fireball. That's the only way that happened. Most engines, the when they explode though, they're just kind of. They, there's a big bang, of course, and there's probably a little bit of fire and, and stuff like that, but then the engine just ceases to run, and parts fall out of the bottom of it, usually. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's like an engine, though. Like It runs so perfectly that if something even slightly goes wrong, it goes wrong instantly, usually instantly, and amazingly. Some engines are, hardy than, are more hardy than others. Some will last running wrong for a little bit longer than others. It just depends on what the parts are made out of, the materials and stuff. Like, most engines are made out of aluminum and, um, aluminum and, uh, stuff, so, you yeah. know. Lightweight parts. Also, I was, wait, there's some crates. Find these crates. Yeah, it's the same with the nuclear reactor, though. Um, as far as uh, what I mean by that as far as oh there you are um, as far as if something slightly goes wrong it goes wrong majorly and usually pretty devastating with a car it's pretty devastating to the wallet of course and with the nuclear reactor it's very devastating to the planet of course it's like a nuclear bomb going off but uh, yeah you just 
got a, you know, backup systems and stuff like that. You got to make sure it's all perfect. Anyway, I'm not going to go too much further into it, you know, because uh, I'm treading some dangerously dangerous opinion opinionated waters. So, <laughs> but anyway, nuclear nuclear power plants are cool. I like them. They're they're really awesome. You know, the they're very very fascinating, very very crazy as well to uh, how they work and stuff like that. But like I said, it's just everything's got to be perfect because um, that's the only reason nuclear power plants ever have ever failed is because of human error. Also, there's a wall up here. What the heck? See this? There's like a. There's nothing there. Maybe it was that wall we accidentally placed. It'll probably disappear once I reload the game, but anyway. Ah. It's freaking rain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I guess uh, in between episodes, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to uh, finish building these. Because these aren't going to take anywhere near as long. Like, yes, it still takes about half an hour, about half the time. So, yeah, probably about half the time of uh, the cooling towers um, themselves. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Have I created a scenario? I have. Oh, that sucks. I have created a scenario where trains... Um, uh, trains cannot go. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking of making the trains go this way, but then they're going to be halted by that train station. Yeah, see, what's happening here is this train wants to go straight, but this train's in the block. Yeah, these are way too close. Um, we can redirect it. Yeah, that's. I think that's what I'll do. I think what I'll do is I'll move it over here because the cooling towers, what I was worried about was the cooling towers are not going to fit in this spot that I had. So I got rid of the road here. So what's going to happen is the road, I think, is going to continue along and then it's going to go around the cooling towers and come back and that might be the way to do this uh, and what I'll do in that case is I'll make this into an actual intersection like a full-on intersection like you can go like it's a four-way four-way intersection you can go right leg go left from either side or straight and uh, we'll just call that. And what I'll do is I'll move this. I don't know if I have time to do this. We might have to do this in a, in a later episode. Or I might have to wait. What I'll do is I'll move this. I'll bring it down and have it come in right here instead. Obviously, I'll have to move some piping and stuff around. But that won't be too much of an issue. And if I get it done early enough, then I won't have to worry about it um, later. Because we're going to uh, do pipes and stuff like that too. Anyway, I think uh, with that... With this train hold up here. See, which way are you wanting to go? You want to go straight. You can't back up. The iron train is the only one that can back up here. Hold on. Alright. This isn't... It hasn't... This is the first time this has happened, believe it or not. Just so happened to be... The greatest blockade in the world. It was the greatest blockade in the world. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay. Right, now we can turn on self-driving. Train's just gonna creep to this intersection here. No, 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 no. Why, why don't the trains know that they're gonna cause an issue here? Oh, you know what I can do? Oh, I got an idea. This will actually fix it, and I don't have to do any work uh, ever again. <laughs> well, not ever again, but got it. Oh, 
Oh, you wanted to go that way. Okay. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to remove this. Okay, so this intersection is going to be bigger than it's currently. There we go. So now enter, 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 and enter. Yep, there we go. Okay, that'll keep that from happening. Very good. Because they're not going to be stopping in the middle of the block. Okay, got it. Fixed it without any trouble. Anyway, <laughs> so now with that, um, that is going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. Um, it's almost the weekend. Tomorrow's our tomorrow's Friday, so you got that. You got that going for you. Get closer. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go into the, uh, go ahead and end it there. Um, if I don't see you again, hopefully you all have yourselves a great weekend, a great Spooktober, um, and that is going to be it. So I do hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I guess it's a goodbye.